Welcome to our video on how to create an assignment in Moodle. My name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. As you can see here, I'm on my home page in a Moodle course that I've already set up. And the first thing I need to do in order to create an assignment is I need to click on this little green button here called Turn Editing On. After I do this, you can see I have a change to my screen. Each of these guys here, Topic 1, Topic 2, Topic 3, are modules within Moodle. And now I have the option to add an activity or a resource to any of these various modules here. So I'm going to add an assignment right here to Topic number 1, and I'm going to click right here on Add an Activity or Resource. So at the top, you can see right here, I have something called Assignment. This is what I want. So I'm going to click on Assignment, and I'm going to click Add. Now, a word of caution before I continue. One of the most challenging things about Moodle is the huge amount of options that are available whenever you try to do anything. In this particular video, I'm going to get right to the point of the basic, basic way of setting up an assignment. But you need to know that I'm leaving out a tremendous amount of options and creative ways that this can be done. So right here at the top, I have something called assignment name. I have to give it a name. So I'm going to give it the name example. Description, um, you can put in a description if you want or not. I'm going to leave it blank because we don't have to put in a, in a description. But you can put in lots of different information to help your students there. I need to also pause here and mention that in order to determine what to do in Moodle, you must decide in advance what your goals and objectives are for a particular activity or resource. Without doing that, you will not be able to make decisions quickly in terms of how to actually execute implementing and using different um, options within the activity or resource. So I'm leaving description blank because I don't have to deal with it. As you can see, there's lots of other information here. I can upload additional files to help my students if I wanted, etc. The only other two sections we must understand for now is availability and submission type. Availability tells you, tells the student when they can submit, when it is late, and when it is it is impossible to submit any at, at any anymore. So allow submission from tells you when the students can begin submitting. Due date is the last day students can submit while it is considered on time. And cutoff date is the last day, I'm sorry, cutoff date is the date at which they can no longer submit. That's what you need to remember. For a submission type, normally, just to keep life simple, we allow students to upload a file. So that's why file submission is selected. There are other ways to do this, but we're not going to talk about that right now. So by clicking on the box of file submission, students can upload a file as um, their way of completing the assignment. So the upload can be a Word document, a PDF, a PowerPoint, a, a JPEG, whatever you want it to be. It could even be a video if, if you really wanted it to be. The rest of these options, although they're highly interesting and they give you much more power in terms of how you can use Moodle, they're beyond the scope of this particular video and we might discuss those at a future date. So I've dealt with all of the critical information I have a name for my assignment. I don't need a description, although I could add one. I didn't upload any additional files. I have a submission date. I have a due date. I don't have a cutoff. And for a submission type, I'm allowing them to upload a file. It's called file submission. Once you have determined what options you need to deal with in Moodle, you have, again, more options on how to save. There are two choices at the bottom. Save and return will save this activity and it will return you to the course homepage. Save and display will save this activity and then it will display the activity so you can check to make sure everything is okay. If you need to, you can edit on it. I'm going to click save and display. So as you can see here, this is what the assignment looks like if I were to ever come back to this particular page. Before I created this video, I created you know some um, pretend participants so you can see at the top here under grading summary, I have 71 participants or 71 students in this class. So far, nobody has submitted yet because I just created it. There are no assignments that need grading yet. The due date is right here. And the time remaining until the due date arrives is also listed at the bottom. If there were any assignments that I needed to grade or mark, I could click on view all submissions 
or I can click on gray, whichever one I wanted. After looking at this, if I want to return to the home page, I click right here on return to topic. And so as you can see on my home page, there is example number one right there. If you can see that if you look closely. So there you have it. This is an example of how to create an assignment in Moodle. There are many things that were not covered. However, for the beginning teacher, for someone new to Moodle, you have you know just enough to make this happen. So again, I would like to thank you for watching this video and I hope that this is helpful for you. Thank you.